agriculture provides livelihood to the nation. 70% of the Indian population are farmers. They are the backbone of our country. The Indian farmer is busy farming day and night. He plows the land, sows the seeds, waters them, feeds fertilizers and pesticides to the crops, and then they finally grow, which are ready to be consumed by the nation. This goes on and on and on, until suddenly, it rains very heavily, destroying the yield. The farmer is poor, in debt, and helpless. Because of this huge loss, he is not able to pay off his loans. Instead, he takes more loans and sinks into insurmountable debt. The government promises to give the farmer subsidy to recover the loss. The farmer receives the subsidy through the government officials who are corrupt. The officials pocket the money intended for the farmer. The poor farmer doesn't get a subsidy and therefore he cannot recover his loss. The farmer loses hope and ends his life, leaving his family helpless. Since 1995, over 2,85,000 farmers have committed suicide. In every 30 minutes, a farmer dies. The farmer and his family have the right to live, right to earn, right to food. If the corruption continues, a day would come soon when India will face a major food crisis. Violation of these basic human rights through corruption does not only affect the poor farmers, but might also affect us indirectly by creating a food crisis.